Here's how to fish for burbot from shore. First up, when can you catch them? Late fall, early winter. That's when burbot will come into the harbors of the Great Lakes and you have a shot at catching them from shore. The gear is next. The longer the rod, the better for your gear because you're gonna have to cast far out into the harbors. So anything seven feet or over would be great. Same thing for the reel, bigger is better because you wanna hold more line. At a minimum, your line should be 10 pound braid with a 10 pound leader. Now what you put on that line first is a no roll sinker if possible. These are flat sinkers that are two, three, or four ounces. They go right on your line. Then after that, you put a stopper or a bead, a swivel or a snap swivel, and then your hook. I like bait holder hooks because you're going to be putting on a minnow, dead or alive, it's your choice. Burbit will eat both on your bait holder hook. Other very necessary gear that you should bring along with you is a big net with a long handle. Typically you'll be fishing from some sea walls that are pretty high up, so you need a long handle to net those burbot, which can get very big. You will want a flashlight or a headlamp because burbot tend to bite in the late evening and nighttime. Yes, they will bite during the day, but you'll have a much better chance fishing at night for them. So bring some flashlights or headlamps. You should have a pliers for when you catch them because sometimes they swallow the hook and you might have to reach in there with the pliers to get the hook out. And then finally, warm clothing. You'll be fishing in some cold temperatures in late fall or winter for these bourbon from shore. So dress warm, maybe even bring some of those hand warmers with you. When you get to the harbors, the best place to fish would be the deepest areas you can cast to. Typically, this is the middle of a river channel if you're by a big river mouth, or if you're in harbors, look for where the boats travel. Those are usually the deepest spots. Just cast that minnow way out into the middle of the harbor or the mouth of the river. Once you bomb your cast out there, reel in your line until it is tight. You gotta keep a tight line. You don't want any slack in your line. So because you have that no roll sinker and it's on the bottom, you reel until you can feel it tight because then when you get a bite, you'll see your line twitch or the end of your rod twitch. So once it's casted out there, reel it so there's no slack in your line. Another thing that you might want is something for your rod to be in, like a rod holder. A lot of the ports will have walls where you can clip something onto them. If not, you can rest your rod and watch the rod tip to see if it's twitching. Burbot don't typically slam the bait and then go running. It's usually a lighter bite. So you have to watch your rod tips to see if there's some action on them. And then just set the hook. The best time of the day to fish for burbot would be evening and night. They will be way more active at that time of the day. So if you can fish the evening and then the night bite, you will have a much better chance at catching the burbot. Also, know your regulations for the area you're fishing. Every state or province has different rules for how many lines you can have in the water. I fish in Wisconsin, so I can have three lines in the water when I'm fishing for burbot. So to maximize my chances, I'll have three different uh, rods casted out into the harbor waiting for a bite. If you're wondering, burbot are an excellent eating fish. They are related to cod, believe it or not. They're freshwater cod. If you're planning on keeping them, you know, just know the local regulations on how many you can keep or if there's size limitations on what you can keep. When you catch a burbot, they're pretty easy to handle. They don't have teeth. You can lip them like a bass. So that's one way to grab them. Another thing is they're extremely slimy. 
So just so you know, if you're gonna grab them a lot, they are just as slimy as a pike or a muskie. So just grab them by the lip as much as you can. It's a lot easier and you won't smell as bad. Good luck fishing for burbot from shore. They're super fun to catch. They're incredibly tasty if you keep them to eat. Click the video link above to see some burbot fishing action. Some real fun catching some thick burbot. Also, you could click that subscribe button too. See ya!